this guy isn't the first one to say that he was touched by Jesus and he's been changed. Johanna Michelson, she was searching for spiritual truth and instead she was led by dreams and feelings and spirits. And she became a assistant to a psychic surgeon. And then Warren Smith, you can get his book, The Light That Was Once Dark, From New Age to Amazing Grace. He was really in the new age and going to psychics. And Since those two have shared their story and everything, many years have gone by and the message that they have is consistent with the Bible. And they go and warn about these deceptive spirits and they're always pointing people back to Jesus, Jesus of the Bible, and going to the Word of God and not to these people or these deceptive spirits that have a message that contradicts the Bible. My concern with just a half hour of video that I've watched about him yeah, he is sharing what he experienced and what he felt. It doesn't seem to be, from what he's presented so far, to line up with God's word. And I'm concerned it's going to lead people away from the one true Jesus and to following deceptive spirits and away from the gospel message, away from the work that Jesus Christ did on the cross, exchanging it for a different message and not of repentance, not of the cross, not of heaven, not of hell, not of the other teachings that are in the word of God. It's not a personal attack on this individual. It's about the teaching and that really is it. I do believe what he's saying, that he says he had this experience. Yeah, if it goes against the word of God, what's already written in those scriptures, followers of Christ, just throw it out. It's sad though, too, because he may receive some of us who are just trying to point him to God's word and all the warnings there and the true Jesus, he would just most likely write us off. Go and at least take a look at those two books that I recommended and listen to what those people have to say. And yeah, they're warning about this kind of stuff, but the message that they're now saying lines up with God's word and they're pointing people to the true Jesus.